Hello YouTube, this is XXXMan360 here, and welcome back to another episode of Fanware Files. Today we are looking at Red Star underscore desktop 3.0 sign dot ISO. Thank you to RubyBirdie on my Discord server for sending in this operating system. Uh, so, disk image file. It's uh, 2.43 gigabytes in size, and uh, there was some specifics that uh, are like the requirements for installing this and so I've actually given it an extra gigabyte of RAM to ensure that I can properly test this thing so we'll start with the setup I'll try to keep um, half of it being the OS setup and half of it being looking at the OS although since he said this was a Korean version I'm not sure if I'll be able to make my way around that easily so we'll just find out. Hopefully the setup is self-explanatory. Okay, we can we just wait now. One hour later. Okay, here it is. What does this even mean? Okay, there we go. Select, um... Um, sure, I do not know how to... Okay, is this like, um... Username, password, or... Uh... Oh, okay. IP address. Oh, well, I guess the, most of the stuff doesn't need to be filled in. Okay, uh, oh, it, it found my location. Interesting. Oh, actually, no, it, that is not my location. My location is over here. Yes. Okay, um, gotta keep the CD in the computer, okay. And we start the OS setup. Okay, so now that the painfully long installation that I had to sit through that I just totally sped up for your viewing pleasure is complete, the computer will now restart and we are ready to move on. 16, 15, okay. I'll exit this view and go back so I can eject the DVD. Or ISO, I should say. Oh, it did it for me, nice. Put this one up. Wow, it does look a lot like Mac OS. I mean, given that it has the Korean logo. I mean, like the spinning, the background. I wonder if it's supposed to be an intentional clone. Hmm, could be. Okay, let's hope the boot time does not take as long as the installation did. Oh, that would be awful. Usually first boot takes so, uh, a while longer, I mean, that's how it is with most OS's, but it should not take another 10 minutes, otherwise I am out. Okay, it's spinning again. Should almost be done, come on. Oh, cool. Here it is. Mac OS like cursor. I see it's got the uh, 
The busy cursor is the Mac. Oh, okay, yeah. This does look really Mac OS y. Huh. They're, they're totally copying Apple, I'm telling you right now. I just wish I could make the language English. Is this the settings? Okay, um. Usually they. I don't know. He said, uh, Ruby Birdie said there's something in the terminal. But I have no idea what the command for that would be, so. Not willing to just waste time on that. Instead, I'll just look for. Oh, it's, yeah, let's install our virtual box add ons. Oh, I thought that was to run it. How do you install? Run as root.sh. Yeah, I have no <laughs> I have no experience with Linux whatsoever. Password. Hmm, what is the password? Does it say? Someone tell me what is the password, otherwise I don't know what to do. Oh well. I mean, it's not like it's that much of a problem other than uh, we want to get a nice resolution I have no idea what the password is so she's gonna close okay there must be some way to change the language if I search a blank um, hmm usually like something with localization uh, Let me go back. What's this? Want the globe? That must be worth something. Oh, it's still all in Korean. I which I cannot read. I mean, if I was Korean, yes, I could read it, but I'm not. Wow. Although, nonetheless, to say that this is a Linux, but it's a clone of uh, Mac OS. That's a nice idea, I must say. Do people buy um, computers that are just designed for Linux? Like, does that actually exist? I wonder. Because, you know, Linux seems is it like that open source OS that. Uh, People used as like their dual booting OS, but I don't I don't know if that's actually something that people have as a second like uh, or no it's be like a native OS. Also, what did he did I think Ruby Birdy said don't let it connect to the internet. What what happens if it connects to the internet? Do I get screwed? Am I going to go get tracked or something? Because, I mean, they'd have to come a long way to, to find me. But, uh, what's bad about an OS connecting to the internet? Is this like some sort of obscure OS that if it connects to the internet, like it's going to kill the internet or something like that? That just doesn't make much sense to me. Oh, well, I'm going to be a mad lad and open up the web browser. What the f is this? I just want to go to google.com. Take me there. Hmm. Guess it's uh, not 
being friendly right now and does not want to connect. Oh well, um, hmm. Let's see if we can figure out how to destroy the OS. That's something I always try. Never uh, destroyed Linux before, so. If I can figure out how, it would be cool. I can't read half the stuff that's here. Even the folders are in Korean. Or maybe that's just because it's a short. Okay. The, the only thing I can actually read is this. Huh. Apps. This is, this is all like, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I've never seen such, such an operating system as this. Using an operating system in a language that I do not understand. What do these things do? Control K. Huh. I need to see some English text. I can't go much longer. Oh, no. No, don't do this to me. Come back. <laughs> well, fine. I must destroy the OS then. But how? How can I destroy it? Hmm. And where is this terminal that I can find? I must find it. What's this? Guess we don't know what's gonna happen until we do we run it. Okay, so that's something to do with this thing. Uh, this grayed out, grayed out, uh, grayed out, grayed out. Oh, what happened? Did I do something bad? What's this? I bet if there's any Koreans watching, they're like, oh my god, XXX man, you're such an idiot. <sighs> Can you blame me? Oh, okay, so that's how to shut it off. Please wait while I... Oh, wait a minute. That didn't shut it off. I will now insert... Windows ISO, or I will then restart the computer, boot from DVD, and destroy the OS. Because I've had enough of not knowing what I'm doing. It hurts my brain. Is the drive? Is it a file system Windows cannot read? Huh. Windows can't read it. Interesting. Oh well. It can certainly format it though. Come to papa. Uh. 
Okay, um, hmm. I can't go back to the setup. Oh, okay. Please stand by. Alright, I will now destroy this horrible, putrid, disgusting excuse for macOS in one click. Uh, actually, two clicks. And it is gone. Just like that. Now. I let a boot from the disc. And we get error 22. We've killed it. Very simple and effective way of destroying a drive. Data still may be there, just can't be read. Well, thank you, Ruby Birdie, for sending this in. Uh, you certainly gave me a headache. Um, not to be offensive, I'm not trying to. It's on me for not knowing how Linux works. <laughs> but to anyone else who is watching, if you'd like to send me your own software, just head down to my Discord server and look for the channel that says, Give me software here. You can submit it there, and I will show it on YouTube. That is all, and thank you for watching.